Hi guys, welcome to our channel. So this is going to be post-eclipsic video uh, for all the Earth, Earth, sorry, Earth signs uh, for Taurus, uh, for Taurus, for Capricorn, and for Virgo. And uh, we are now actually filming from beautiful Spain. If you guys are from Spain, let us know in the comments. We love your country. <laughs> so and anyway, this is going to be a message for all, uh, Earth signs for post after eclipse. I know this eclipse was like crazy. I've heard so many different things happen to different people, so let us know also in the comments how did this eclipse affect you, if anything is happening in your life right now. Let's see. And the first card I take is from uh, Alice in Wonderland Tarot deck to set the tone of the reading and just, you know, play around with it a little bit and then we'll take more cards from Tarot to see. Okay, so the card I got, oh, oysters come and walk with us. Some of you, I feel, maybe could be feeling alone right now. You want support. You really, really want support. You really want um, literally somebody to just walk your path with you almost like. Let's see what else we get. All the earth signs. First card, Ten of Cups. So whatever is happening post-eclipse, uh, I feel like you still are trying to find happiness you're still trying to recognize good things in your life and uh, maybe some of you are connecting a lot with your family with your friends with people close to you and they're trying to like um, brighten you up let's see what else we have here ace of cups hmm, very positive so new love for some of you literally um some of you could be meeting a new person just having new new positive love experience uh, with somebody in your life maybe it's somebody you already know maybe it's somebody new let's see what else but very positive uh, seven of cups Ooh. emotional I feel like this um, this is very emotional time for many of you because on one side there are so many things that are fall, falling into place you have this love but at the same time you're still kind of confused maybe for some it's a lot of different options but for other of you you're like not sure who to trust and what to trust is this real some of you could be feeling so happy that you just don't know like is this even real or maybe everything is going to be again like it always is like if you're more on the negative side of thinking so some of you are experiencing some confusion regarding something let's see what this confusion is about confusion two of wands i think this confusion is coming from a place where um as much as maybe I would feel like some of you could have even come close to getting what you want in the relationship, but you're not sure how um, you're literally you're not sure how your future, like if your future from how your life is now is possible with this person. I guess. Let me see what else. Like some of you are conflicted maybe about future. Queen of Wands here. So it could literally also mean for some like their own career their own life plans and the um, love situation they're in like you almost like are thinking that okay i see this path for me but with this love is it doable do i have to sacrifice myself maybe some of you are becoming also more independent and you are thinking like well finally i reached this place uh, with self-love i've reached this place of independence what if I will go back to my old ways? Like maybe some of you were overly dependent on someone in the past and finally you let go of this independence. And now that you're falling in love, you're like thinking, oh, what if again I will, you know, repeat my pattern? This is what I feel for some of you guys. Okay, let's see what else. Five of Pentacles. So I think <clears throat> you're experiencing some kind of not even lack but it's more also like it could be financial concerns you're thinking okay like this love is amazing but will i you know will i be able to take care of myself pay my bills what's next with money maybe for someone's financial difficulty but at the bottom of the deck here we have the fool so i feel like what you guys need to do is to trust to trust that whatever is happening is for the better to trust that the universe will take care of you of course if you do your part as well don't just you know rely on <laughs> like do your work of course and our signs are very you know practical but don't just focus on the like focus on that there's a lot of things that can happen that are out of your control and it's not always negative sometimes actually things out of control are very positive don't just expect bad news expect good news as well so let's see what else we get for you guys okay some of you also could be dealing with aries emperor card just popped out 
Okay, nine of wands. So I think whatever situation you are dealing with, like the end, uh, how to say, almost you're almost at the end of the cycle. Nine of wands card came out, and just hold on a little more. No, <laughs> don't give up. Uh, hold on, cards fell out. Uh, don't give up, you know, right before like the the sun rises, almost like around this crazy. Okay, let me, let's see what else. High Priestess. Remember that whatever it is you are dealing with, and here bottom of deck is Eight of Swords, don't feel trapped, don't feel like you are you don't have control. Sometimes even simple thing is changing your mindset and connecting, you know, to your spiritual side, connecting uh, to your spiritual wisdom, asking guides for help, asking, you know, whatever, if you pray or anything, like, even these things can make a whole difference sometimes. So do realize that you're as much as you're practically also very spiritual science and uh, there is wisdom and if you ask for to see the road that you don't see now it's going to be given to you it's very positive let's see one last card is a card from astrology deck we have here neptune card so yeah i guess it's what i was saying before about it there is there is the Seven of Cups card, which for me relates also a little bit to Neptune, because sometimes, you know, there is confusion, and Neptune can bring confusion. However, if you turn, if you go from low vibration of Neptune, of like Seven of Cups, into High Priestess, which is very high uh, vibration of uh, Neptune, I think you will have amazing results. So I think all you need to do really is trust, trust the universe, trust your intuition, um, trust just the signs that you see, and don't just focus on negative, like, if you need, if you really feel like you need something, like you need a person or whatever, if really that's what you feel like, just ask, ask for help, like uh, connect. And I think in actually literally in August, a uh, video for which sign, I forgot, for, for Taurus maybe, it was yeah, the video I was asking, like sh you should ask for help. And if you do ask, amazing things are gonna happen. So this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments below how did this eclipse affect you. And we will see you next time, bye guys.